You know what I've started doing more in the last couple of years um, is to identify a real period of time. Um, I mean, even now as a bishop, I take a study day a week. Now I don't get it every week, but I get it most weeks. Um, I figure if I shoot for four in the course of a month, if I get three, I'm doing good, and I usually do. Um, but I take a study day where um, two of those study days out of a month, I'm not doing anything directly related to a sermon. I'm reading, I'm writing. I'll do a variety of different things that put me in a different frame of mind and expose me to stuff. And all I can tell you is out of that, it's like a creative ferment gets going. And um, then on the days when I'm actually writing and working on a sermon, it comes out of that. <laughs> and so what I've tried to do is kind of carve some space that's, that's almost kind of prayer time. It's kind of studying, it's reading, but it's time to think, to ponder. Uh, to ruminate, and I read scripture, and I read other stuff, and I do writing, um, and some of that stuff begins to congeal. It's, it's like the chaos before creation. Um, there's a point where I know I've got to write a sermon, <laughs> I've got to preach on a Sunday, and something says, let there be. And from that chaos that's already there and forming but not quite formed, something then comes into being. Now, what do I do practically to get to that point? I suspect that's your next question. Um, well, I sit with the actual lectionary texts, whatever they are. I mean, I kind of, I, I, I usually study them up for a quarter, I mean, for a particular period of time. Like, in, when August gets here, I'll be looking at the, the late Pentecost readings from, you know, early September through uh, whenever, uh, the Sunday before, the Sunday before Advent. Um, and I'll have read through all of the lessons, all of the scripture readings, kind of jotted down notes and thoughts and just kind of, Whatever, I mean, free floating without using commentaries or anything like that, just kind of free floating. And then I let that sit. And then I have these days when I'm just kind of reading and thinking um, and just kind of being in the midst. It's kind of like Dietrich Bonhoeffer um, talked about. Sometimes you just need to be still in the presence of the word and let it do the talking. And I found that by creating that space, and then when I got to sit down at the desk, and I, I've got to, because you got to say something Sunday morning. <laughs> And something's got to come out that all of that prior preparation plus whatever's going on in life, then I sit down and say, is there something to say today? Um, and and I, like everybody else, I, I start writing. And, and I write most of my sermons out, or if, if not in full manuscript form, in detailed annotated um, outline. And I do that because, I, I mean, I'm just not smart enough to kind of think stuff up off the top of my head. Um, I need to think it through because um, um, I'm always afraid I'll take shortcuts <laughs> and to really make sure I've thought something through and can say it crisply <laughs> um, and can actually get to the point and stay on message um, and kind of look at it and see, would I want to hear this? <laughs> would this be helpful to me to hear? Um, so I found actually writing it out in various forms um, helps me and then you know when Sunday comes I mean I don't really read a manuscript but it's there I mean I have my notes even from today um, which was a little different doing a lecture which is much long which is much longer than a sermon but uh, but even with that I write that stuff out.